In this lesson, we'll be creating shapes from vector layers and animating them. Okay, so the shapes that we're going to be creating from our vector layers are going to be our flower stems. So let's actually toggle back up our leaves for a moment and turn back on the visibility for our three stems. So I'll just shift select those and turn on my eyeballs for them. And the reason why I want to turn them to vector layers is because I want to make them look like they're growing. And right now, pretty much the only way I would have to do that is maybe by adding a mask, but that's not going to add this little bubble on top. It would just take it away or maybe trying to use scale, which would just kind of look a little bit strange. It would be distorting it quite a bit. So creating shapes from vector layers will actually allow us to have access to all of the vertexes or vertices that make up the edges of those pieces. So then we can just grab the vertices and pull them down and then have them pop back up into their place. So what I can do is now in Creative Cloud, you can actually create vector shapes from multiple layers at the same time. It used to be that you had to select one layer, right click and choose create shapes from vector layer. Now you can see that it's going a little bit out of my recording area. There it is, create shapes from vector layer. I can do that on the first one. Or now I can select two at a time or as many as I want, right click, and that option is still going to be available to me. For a second, I'm just going to pull these up to the top so that you can see that is available. That used to be grayed out in a previous version, so it would only let you do one layer at a time. So that's a big improvement, really help you save some time. So create shapes from vector layer, and now we actually don't need the original stems anymore. You can tell which ones are which because now they're blue because they're shape layers instead of those Illustrator files. Um, so what I'll do is do this just in a row where we get one, two, three on the outlines, and it automatically automatically turns the visibility for the original layer off. So anything that's an FS2, 3, or the FS1, we can delete them. We don't even need them anymore. Now you want to still keep your FB1, 2s, and 3s because that is for the flower buds. So we'll select those three, delete them, and then let's pull this down. And you can see it doesn't really look like anything has changed except now I've got these and I've got access to their paths, which is really important. So let's just start out with our flower stem one outline first. So I'm going to toggle this down, go into the contents folder, open up that group and select the path. And you can see that now I can see those vertices. So what I want to do for my animation is give myself about 30 frames for this to grow, which is going to be about one second. And I want it to just kind of barely overlap with the animation of the leaves. So let's select our leaves layer, hit the U key to sh shortcut to the keyframes that we've made. And I'm just going to go maybe one frame back, one or two from the last key on that last leaf. And that's where I want these to start growing. So up up, up here on the flower stem one, Let's go ahead and measure 30 frames from this point. So I'll hold shift and hit page down three times. And then what I want to do is come into the path. We'll toggle that down and set a keyframe for the path. So that's going to say where all those vertexes or ver where all those vertices are right now. We want to freeze those in place and we want to set a key so that we don't have to go back and try to reconstruct this later. That's why we're working backwards. So we'll hit the path key there. Now we'll go back to where we started 30 frames before that. So I'll hold shift and hit page up three times. And now I can come in and select those individual vertices. So I'll just select this one, hold shift. We'll grab all those pieces. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit and we can just grab them and pull them down. And I'm just going to pull them kind of down to about, let's make sure we got everything we wanted, down to about right here. Now I'm also going to want to grab those two that were kind of the bases for that 
and pull them down a little bit as well. And you can see that it automatically set a keyframe for that path. So let's just see what happens if we scrub through. Great, so that's working really well. We're not really getting too much distortion. It looks like something might be happening a little bit strangely right there on this one. So let's just fix that really quick. I just want that one little point right here. I'm gonna have to probably zoom in pretty close to get to it. There we go. And I'll just pull that back up like that. And then let's pull this handle down. Same thing over here. We need to pull that handle down a little bit and pull that one up. So this is just helping this to be a little bit less convoluted in that area. And then as it grows out, we will get that bud. Great. Okay, so that's working really, really nicely for our first stem. And then we'll just want to repeat the process for our other two. So let's come down to our next one, the FS outlines two. And I'll just select that first layer and hit the U key so I can see my keys and where I want to place them. So I'll just come over here to that second key, look in the group, look in the path, hit the stopwatch for the path, go back to the first one. We'll kind of toggle over and zoom in here a bit, just like this. Now you'll have to come in, select your path, and then shift select around. There we go. Then that's how that's that's how you want that to look. Then we can just left click and pull that down. And now that is in place. And then it looks like we only have one kind of wayward path here that we can just pull that handle down. Well, let's see how it looks when we drag. Perfect. Okay, so in between lessons, I'm going to come in here and do this last one. And you can practice on your third one as well. And in the next lesson, we'll come back and all three of those will be finished. Another, another thing that you can do is stagger these. So instead of having them just come out at exactly the same time, let's just grab these two keys and pull them forward a couple of frames. So it'll come out in a little bit of a stagger. So let's see, that's just um, three frame stagger it looks like, maybe a little bit more. Four frames. So we've got four frames in between those blooming. And I think that might be too much. Let's just try two. We'll pull that back a little bit. So it's a very slight stagger just like that. Perfect. Okay, so let's come back in the next lesson. We'll have our third stem animated and then we'll be able to move on to creating a scale animation for the flower bud that's going to go on the top of those stems.